So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your PlayStation 4 gaming experience in 2024. I'm going to be showing you how to connect a mouse and keyboard to your PlayStation 4, as well as showing you the real world gaming benefits of using mouse and keyboard over a controller. So for this video, we're obviously going to need a PlayStation 4. Whoa, there we go. There's one PlayStation 4. We're also going to need a mouse and keyboard. There's one keyboard and there's one mouse. So now that we've got a mouse and keyboard, we need to connect them to our PlayStation 4. To do this, you connect the USB cables into the USB sockets uh, on the front of the console. There should be two. You now need to turn your PS4 on and you'll know if your PS4 has recognized your mouse and keyboard because there'll be a notification in the left corner. One cool feature is you can actually control the PS4 menu using the keyboard. So you can scroll using the arrow keys. Another cool feature that Sony have implemented is that if you navigate to settings and then scroll down to devices and there is a setting for external keyboards and mouse. Um, so if we go on the keyboard setting, it allows you to enter in the type of keyboard. This setting also allows you to adjust the key repeat delay and the key repeat rate. We're now gonna take a look at the mouse settings Entering the mouse settings allows us to adjust which hand we control the mouse with. So I'm gonna leave it on right-handed because that's the hand that I use. Um, we're also able to adjust the pointer speed, but I'm gonna leave it on normal. So I'm now gonna be testing some PlayStation 4 games using mouse and keyboard. Um, but before we get into that, if you are enjoying, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We've just hit 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. It really supports the channel. Um, and if you are enjoying, be sure to drop us a like really appreciate it anyway let's get on with the video so the first game we're going to be testing is call of duty warzone and i was pleasantly surprised after booting up this game that it has full mouse and keyboard support on the playstation 4. what i mean by this is it's pretty much an identical experience to if you were to play this on a pc i don't know if you can see but there is a mouse cursor on the screen so you're able to use the mouse to navigate through the menu um, as well as uh, the, the keyboard this is where it turns out that I still need to download Warzone, so we'll do that and then we'll jump into a game. So before we jump into a match, we need to adjust some settings within Warzone to get the mouse and keyboard to work properly. Um, to do that, you have to navigate over to the settings button and then there should be a mouse and keyboard setting. And then you'll notice there'll be a setting called aiming input device. And by default, controller is selected. So we need to click on the drop down menu and select mouse. So now the mouse is our main aiming device. And within this menu, it allows you to adjust a whole range of options um, from mouse sensitivity, and then you can click up here and change the key binding. So Warzone on the PlayStation 4 definitely has all the options that you would expect to see on the PC version of the game. Um, so that is very nice to see. So you've got loads of options to sort of adjust and customize the input from your keyboard and mouse. But the main thing you need to make sure you do before you jump into a game is select mouse and keyboard as your input device because this is something that you won't be able to do once you're in a game. So we're now going to load into a game of Warzone and see how the game feels with mouse and keyboard on the PlayStation 4. So here we are, we finally loaded into a game of Warzone. Where are we going to drop? And my initial thoughts are this actually does feel very nice. The mouse and keyboard inputs are very responsive. Unfortunately, the textures struggle to load on PlayStation 4, but that's more down to the aging hardware of the console. This definitely feels like I'm playing on PC. Oh no, I'm getting shot. I'm actually surprised how good this game feels. This is definitely my preferred way to play Warzone with the mouse and keyboard. The next game that we're gonna try out is Fortnite with the mouse and keyboard on the PlayStation 4. Let's see how it goes. So we're now in Fortnite. This game also implements mouse and keyboard really well on console. As you can see, there is a mouse that we're able to drag around the screen. Similar to Warzone, if you go into settings, um, there is a whole bunch of mouse and keyboard related settings um, which you can mess around with. Yeah, this feels really good. This feels identical to playing on PC. And Fortnite actually runs a lot better on the PS4 than Warzone does. So anyway, in summary, Fortnite runs great on the PS4 using mouse and keyboard. I definitely would recommend if you are playing Fortnite on the PS4 then trying mouse and keyboard because it is actually for some people a better way of playing the game. I find that I can be more accurate with mouse and keyboard. Anyway, we're gonna try a different game. Finally, we're gonna test out Ratchet and Clank remastered on the PlayStation 4. 
I'm less confident about this game working because the previous two games have been cross-platform games that have been made for PC as well as console. Um, whereas this is a PlayStation exclusive. So I am definitely less confident in this game working with mouse and keyboard. Um, so it says press any button. So I'm now pressing any button on the keyboard and it's not jumping in. So I'm gonna have to use the controller. There we go. So we're loaded into a mission on Ratchet and Clank. And unfortunately, the mouse and keyboard isn't having any impact on the game at all. Um, so we're gonna have to use the controller. We'll have a look around the settings and see if there is a mouse and keyboard option. So if we go controls. So unfortunately, I don't think Ratchet & Clank supports mouse and keyboard natively. I think it is very much a game dependent thing. So anyway, in conclusion, should you go out and buy a mouse and keyboard and use it with your PlayStation 4? In my opinion, I would say yes, go for it. Mouse and keyboard, especially this membrane keyboard and this uh, fairly basic mouse only cost me £15 for the bundle. It's a very inexpensive way to improve your gaming experience. But as you've probably seen, it is very game dependent. Games that are cross-platform tend to work very well with mouse and keyboard on consoles. Whereas there are a lot of console exclusives that don't work with mouse and keyboard. So it's all game dependent and it all depends on which sort of games you're hoping to play. But for the games that do work with mouse and keyboard, it has been a really good experience. We know that Fortnite works really well. We know that Warzone works really well. And I'm sure there are a lot of other games that do work really well with mouse and keyboard. So in my opinion, I would go out and test out mouse and keyboard on your PlayStation or Xbox. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And if you have enjoyed, be sure to drop us a subscribe, drop us a like, and I will see everyone in my next video.